Hey, everybody, off and running on this Thursday edition of Thoroughbred Action. Jason Blewett joining you outside the walking ring as we continue on with this facing Tipton Fountain of Youth Week. Saturday, the big day with the 14 races and the 10 stakes. We run 10 today and a good looking card, some nice maidens, and a whole lot of track announcer Pete Aiello coming up next. 10 races on a Thursday in South Florida. As expected, the cold front rolled through South Florida last night. So we're in the mid 60s here this afternoon. Some rain came with it, though. The turf course would be labeled good for the afternoon. However, the track was fast. First of the day over the good turf at a five furlong trip. Maiden claimers in for $16,000. A field of eight. The favorite was the eight, Red Mule. Racing at Gulfstream. Level beginning from between horses. Creedmore away quickly. Here's Fort King splitting horses. Cool hand coop at the rail with speed. These three, the first three out. Away fourth is Red Mule, followed fifth by Sweet Ride, then nothing but net. Gap of three to Katara Pass, and Warrior Spirit is last. Inside half a mile to go, Fort King from between has a narrow lead. Cool Hand Coop holds the inside rail and is racing from second. Creedmore, three wide with the duo from third. On from fourth and Red Mule. He's tripped out nicely, if good enough, behind a 21 and one opening quarter. The top three continue on from fifth and far back at this stage is Sweet Ride, then nothing but net as Red Mule hunts racing room after Cool Hand Coop, who has the lead. Fort King tries to get back on terms. Creedmore is wide. Red Mule gets through on the fence as they wheel in. Here's Red Mule's split, and here's Red Mule to the top. Katara Pass is running home to try to complete the exacta. Nothing but net on the outside. Dropping anchor was Fort King, but Red Mule is all the rage here. He's two to one and long gone. Red Mule by four in the end. Nothing but net is up second. Katara Pass third. Sweet ride, finish fourth. Number eight, Red Mule tripped out perfectly going around the far turn, found room inside, and ran up the score late, breaking the maiden in style under jockey Amisael Jaramil for trainer Jorge Navarro in the Flatlands Racing in Sanford Gold Farm. Red Mule beats nothing but net. The other horse who took money, Fort King, did not fire. Red Mule did. He won easy. On to the second race now, start of the 50 cent early pick four. A field of eight went six furlongs. Maiden claimers in for 50,000. Off-time favorite was number seven, Bibiana. And uh, they're off. A bit slower than the others was She Answered. Quick start for Panorea. Moving out the rail, our little devil is up to take her on. Away in the top flight, Leo's Diamond, who now lands second. Bibiana, the race favorite, is into a contending spot while three wide. Panorea is on the far outside. Terra is next toward the rail with Treves in the two-path. Second last is Fancified, and the trailer is She Answered. They go past the half mile point and take it to the far turn. Long shot, our little devil in front by an neck. Bibiaba is poised to strike second. Panarea now third. Leo's Diamond at the inside is starting to improve a touch. Up into third now. Two better than Tara, who's inside of Treves. Fancified will have to do a lot better than that, and she answered. Tries to play catch up from the back of the field with five sixteenths to run. Our little devil on the inside. Bibiana on the outside. Their heads apart. Getting ready to go to the clear is Leo's Diamond. Third and in range for Torres. Far outside Panarea. Then Tara and she answered. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Bibiana has the lead. But here's Leo's Diamond and Panarea on the attack. Tara's into the clear for Jaramillo down the center. Final eighth of a mile. Tara starts to get a good move on here as the leader is Leo's Diamond. Leo's Diamond's almost home. Tara taking a late surge on the outside. Tara's going to make this close. Leo's Diamond's hanging on. Leo's Diamond narrowly over Tara's second. Panarea third in 112 and three. Upset winner of today's second race, it was the newcomer, the daughter of Proud Citizen, number five, Leo's Diamond, who proved gamest of all inside that final eighth of a mile. Handled the victory by Christian Torres for Anthony Margata Jr. and the two W stables. Leo's Diamond debuts a winner in the second. Time for a commercial timeout. Still a lot of action to come. Don't go away. No medication, 
no problem. Run happy, standing at Claiborne Farm. Back now for the third race of the afternoon on turf at a one mile and one sixteenth trip. Claimers in for $25,000. Scratch the seven, Bugle Berry, a field of six. Off time favorite, the classy son of Scat Daddy. Number two, Solio. And they're off. From the center, face of victory, one of the first to break the line. Cowboy Culture has a bit of speed. Solio on the comeback try is away in the top flight with Donji on the outside. In tight between is Derby Champagne, and the early trailer is Differential. And the charge around the first turn, face of victory has him stacked and packed behind him. Face of victory on top for Leperu by a length and a half. Cowboy Culture nearest the inside of joint second as Donji moves up on his outside. Solio, the classy individual, is racing from fourth in the two path with Derby Champagne on the outside fifth. At the back is differential as they slow it down mid-race. 25-2 and two for a quite reasonable opening quarter speed as face of victory is the target. Donji with just token pace pressure while second. Derby Champagne wide on the course while third. Cowboy Culture is at the inside fourth, ahead in front of Solio, who's second last while still on hold, and the trailer is differential. The chess match continues through a 50 and one half mile. We're inside half a mile from home. The pace starts to lift a bit. It's face of victory in front by a neck. Three wide Derby Champagne and the two path is Donji. Solio ready to go at any time. He's now fourth on the inside in Cowboy Culture and the trailer is differential. They're on the far turn now. Face of victory, still the target. Donji on the outside is still there. Second, Derby Champagne is third. Patiently handled fourth is Solio. He'll need a way out. Looks like he's going to try to get off the hip of Donji as they wheel in. Three quarters, 113 and four. It's still face of victory, the leader. Gaffleone guiding Solio to the far outside for a late threat. Derby Champagne, meanwhile, has surged to a narrow lead. It's Derby Champagne in front. Solio lifting up on the outside. Here's Solio right when it matters. Solio is in time. Derby Champagne a game second. Third was face of victory. Victory, then Donji. Coming into the third race, the key question was number one, would Solio be ready? And number two was how good is he? As he was taking a huge class drop here this afternoon, almost a worrisome class drop, but he got the job done. Handled nicely by jockey Tyler Gaffleon, the classy son of Scat Daddy, proves too much for Ken and Sarah Ramsey and winning trainer Mike Maker. Solio catches Derby Champagne on the wire. To the fourth race now, maidens of the special weight variety at six and a half furlongs. A scratch of the seven vine stones, so we had a field of six, heavily favored, number two, unshaken. And they're off. Not a very good start for Coastal Defense, and unshaken was second last to get underway. Good start for September 10, who's headed off for the early lead. Unshaken shakes off the rust, but he'll have to back off and race fourth as groundbreaking is up to challenge for the lead. So the three across the course early with groundbreaking in front of Quick Step Ed and September 10. Johnny V content at this stage with Unshaken, but he is moving him to the far outside, so the favorite is four wide while in the clear. Two back to youngest of five, and the trailer is Coastal Defense. 23-4 and four for a very slow opening quarter as they round the far turn. Unshaken will have to go four wide, but he's on the attack as Quick Step Ed just took the lead. Groundbreaking in September 10 nearest the inside, then youngest of five, and Coastal Defense is next. This will be a 5-16 sprint with Unshaken going on to take the lead. Youngest of five, and Castellano throws his hat into the ring while second. Coastal Defense is three wide, September 10 battling on at the rail. They want a 47 and two half mile. No real excuse for Unshaken as youngest of five continues to charge at him with an eighth of a mile left to go. Unshaken still the target. Now they are shaking him up, but he's responding to urging. Young Youngest of five is game. He's running a nice race in his career debut, but he ran into a buzzsaw. Unshaken, sharp in victory. Youngest of five seconds, September 10th, 10th, 3rd. Coastal Defense, finish fourth. Number two, Unshaken was all the rage when making his racing debut at Keeneland last winter, and he was not exactly up to snuff that afternoon. Here this afternoon, he was all the rage again, but he was well prepared off the layoff by trainer Kieran McLaughlin, expertly handled by jockey John Velasquez. Unshaken passes a key test today, breaking the maiden for owner and breeders, Godolphin LLC. Let's go to the fifth race now, the start of the Rainbow Six, five furlongs on turf, three-year-old fillies in for a maiden claiming price of $16,000. Scratch the alternates, 13 through 16. Favorite was the eight, nice adventure. And they're off. 
Great start for the favorite, Nice Adventure, who's headed off for the early lead, but she'll be beat to the punch by Happy Loudon, who goes on to take over. Newcomer Blame the Storm is away in good shape, third and now second toward the inside. On from fourth is Business in Dubai. Outside of her is Awesome Flyer. Down at the inside goes No Good Deed. Then it's Paz Armania with Felony Melanie on her outside. Length and a half to a wide running music, music. Asnavor is in traffic, so is Fluffy Truffle, and the trailer is Delia's Pride. Around the far turn they go. Less than three furlongs remains. With the advantage, Happy Loudon by a length and a half. Nice adventure is second. Business in Dubai just slammed on the brakes. Asnavor and Felony Melanie are next. As they're at the top of the stretch, Happy Loudon. Wheels for home on top. Happy Loudon now leads by three and a half. Felony Melody trying to take up the slack second. Business in Dubai with a re-rally from between horses. Nice adventure at the rail and blame the storm. But it's all about Happy Loudon. Happy Loudon is sharp in victory and one by four in the end. Second nice adventure. Third Felony Melody and business in Dubai. Finish fourth. Number nine, Happy Loudon showed speed in her career debut on the main track and quickly backed up. Here this afternoon, she had a lot better speed and a lot better stick as she went right to the top again and widened the advantage. Liking the turf here today for trainer Amador Sanchez and jockey Hector Berrios. Owned by the Del Mar Collection Group, it was Happy Loudon to beat Nice Adventure to start the Rainbow Six. Time for a commercial timeout. The late pick five is next. Don't go away. Back now for race number six on the program, a one-mile trip over the fast main track. Phillies and Mares in for an $8,000 price tag. They've not won three. Field of eight signed on. This was a wide-open betting race. And they're off. Check back a bit at the start was Hilltop Harmony. Great start for Shanghai Sweetheart, who's put into play for the early lead. And Shanghai Sweetheart is fleet-footed. She's open to clear advantage on the rest of the field. On the far outside, my Francesca closer than usual. She'll land second. Special for you is next. At the inside, it's the Ohio Invader, Pagallo and Avanti. Now moving through for Olsen all the way up into second. On hold while fifth is Tropicality. Two better than Hilltop Harmony, then Stronger Cat, then a song for Sue. 24 seconds for the opening quarter. There's five furlongs remaining, and the advantage belongs to Shanghai Sweetheart. She's in front by two and a half. Second is Pagallo and Avanti. Up to third goes Tropicality. Two back to my Francesca, who's racing from fourth. Hilltop Harmony and proving at the inside, and now she's up into fourth. Back pedaling is special for you. The two at the back, a song for Sue and Stronger Cat. 46 and four for a strong half mile speed as they swing to the far turn. Shanghai, sweetheart, letting it all hang loose. She's on top by two, Pagallo and Avanti is second. Three back to Tropicality, you'll have an opportunity from there third. It's a gap of five or six to my Francesca. Mitchell getting after her to launch a bid while better than nine or 10 off the lead. Then it's Hilltop Harmony and a song for Sue with a quarter of a mile left to get. Up front, Shanghai Sweetheart tries to bottom out the group. Wheels for home after three quarters and one twelve and two on top by four. Tropicality is there second. My Francesca ducks to the rail. Pagallo and Avanti is next, then a song for Sue. It's Tropicality trying to reel in Shanghai Sweetheart. Shanghai Sweetheart is on the ropes. On the outside and Tropicality is right alongside and Tropicality is on to the front and she'll win it. Tropicality, a length and a half in the end. Shanghai Sweetheart second, my Francesca third, a song for Sue, finish fourth. Coming into this sixth race today, you had a lot of one-dimensional speed signed on in the form of the one, two, four, six, and seven. The closers were the five and the eight. And if you sniff that out, you got a nice return as number five, Tropicality, gets the money. Getting first run on the speed under jockey Edgar Prado. Congratulations in order to Susan Ditter for a training victory here today. For owner Chuck Simon Racing and JLB Racing Partnership. Let's go to the seventh race now, the start of the late pick four, one mile on turf. Claimer is at a price tag of $25,000. Field of 10 signed on. The favorites included the two, New Year, and the 10, Uncle Curly. And they're off.
Beautiful beginning for Smell of Roses, who's headed off for the early lead. Summer Beach moves to him. Uncle Curly's trying to get over from the high draw, but he's got traffic ahead of him as positive fill into the top flight. That means Uncle Curly will be about five deep as Paco works him over. Positive fill widest around the first turn. Saving ground is Mystical Moon next toward the rail alongside New Year is the favorite Uncle Curly. Length and a half in front of Hard Count, who's off the speed today. Volleyball is second last. Direct approaches the trailer, and Smell of Roses is the leader. Smell of Roses and Rajiv Mirage on top by three. Summer Beach second, Mystical Moon third. Positive Phil had to be wide on that first turn. He's racing in fourth now. Fifth at the inside and looking at Roses. Then it's New Year inside of Uncle Curly. Paired off are Volleyball and Hard Count, and the trailer is direct approach. 22-4 and four for a quick opening quarter speed. They head to the half-mile grounds. Smell of Roses off the lead by three and a half. Mystical Moon and Leperu at the inside of joint second alongside Summer Beach. Out three wide and positive fill. Then it's looking at Roses with New Year hunting racing room for Gaffleon. Up on his outside and Uncle Curly. Then it's hard count and volubile. The trailer is direct approach and the leader is still Smell of Roses. Smell of Roses tries to go it all the way. F positive fill gets first run at him. New Year throwing his hat into the ring on the far outside. Uncle Curly and hard counter next. Saving ground is uh, looking at Roses. He'll have a chance to slingshot off the turn in the stretch drive. It's Smell of Roses still there. Down the center, New Year from between horses. Positive Phil and Mystical Moon is right there. But New Year is swept by them all. And New Year strides to a clear advantage. Here's a late run from direct approach. He's up into second. New Year in front. New Year won it very close for second. Mystical Moon might have held on on direct approach. Then looking at Roses, 134-3. and three. Number two, New Year was 5-1 to one as they entered the starting gate in today's seventh race. And then the smart money showed up, hammering the son of Jersey Town to 2-1. to one. He proves his last maiden victory was no fluke as he swept by them all and won going away under jockey Tyler Gaffleone for the Teamwork Horseman Group and trainer Juan Andreas Rodriguez. Let's go to the eighth race now, the start of the late pick three. Claimers had a six furlong trip over the fast main track. They're in for $50,000. Scratch the one, get hammered. A field of seven. Favorites were six, Bell Tapasseri, and the eight, Cajun Firecracker. And uh, they're off. Malibu Max and Cajun Firecracker both away quickly. Here's Ballandine moving up down toward the inside. And Ballandine leads Bell Tapasseri narrowly with on the outside Cajun Firecracker third. In amongst travels is Star Wancho, while fourth and front loaded is inside fifth. Malibu Max, who was one of the first into stride, is at the back of the field alongside Stone Hands. In the charge to the far turn, Bell Tapasseri, half a mile from home and a half length in front. The other favorite, Cajun Firecracker, moves to him while second. Malibu Max is all the way up to third. Ballandine back to fourth. Running home a bit is Stone Hands, next at the inside and front loaded. And Star Wancho is now tailing off. He's last. They make their way to the top of the stretch now with Bell Tapasseri still the target. Bell Tapasseri leads by half a length. Cajun Firecracker is second. Bit more earnest now for him to get on terms with the leader. Ballantine tries a re-rally. Also running on a bit is front loaded as they make their way to the top of the lane. Bell Tapasseri has a kick and Bell Tapasseri now leads by two and a half. Ballantine is second. Malibu Max is next. Cajun Firecracker did not go on. 16th to go. Bell Tapasseri still the target. Ballantine's out of time. Bell Tapasseri well, what it? Valandine second, Malibu Max was third, front loaded, finished fourth. Number six, Bell Tapasseri with a sharp beginning, took a licking and kept on ticking, turning away all challenges and giving the Minister of Speed, Amisael Jaramillo, his second riding victory of the day. Trained by Mike Tomlinson for Kyle McGinty, they couldn't stay with Bell Tapasseri, your eighth race winner. Number three, Valandine was second in a good try. Time for a commercial break, still to come, the late daily double. We go back to the turf right after this. Hazing Tipton is bringing the heat to Miami with a red-hot catalog of selected two-year-olds in training. Star graduates include Grade 1 winners Audible, Bella Fina, Dream Tree, Mia Mischief, More Spirit, and Nyquist. Plus, rising stars like Breeders' Cup champion Four-Wheel Drive, Nadal, and Independence Hall. Top juveniles by the nation's hottest sires. Selected sales, superior results. The Phasing Tipton Gulfstream Sale, April 1st in Hallandale Beach, Florida. Where will you be? And they're off. She's second in the two path. Ground off her inside. Race. And a quarter of a mile to go, and he's six on top. It's last of the 12, and they roll into the backstretch. 
Back now for the ninth race of the afternoon on turf at a mile in the 16th. Claimers in for $25,000 in a field of nine. Off time favorites included the seven, Hotty Toddy, and the nine, Sassy Justice. And uh, they're off. Good start for Picasso Moon and Sassy Justice in the center. Here's Kiffel moving up. These three are quickest away at the inside and Faith and Hope an early fourth. Back to fifth goes bright side of the road. Sixth early is Hotty Toddy. Beach Dreaming improves at the inside. Second, yeah, last is Yako, and the early trailer is Believe Indeed. In the charge to the first turn, the pace is on early, and the leader is Kiffel and Tyler Gaffleone on top of length and a quarter, Picasso Moon. Races from second at the inside. Faith and Hope is now third. Off the speed today is Sassy Justice. She's in the uh, two path while fourth, a length and a half in front of Beach Dreaming. Then bright side of the road, making her South Florida return, a length better than Hottie Toddy. Believe indeed, and the Aqua Cap on the far outside is now second last, and the trailer is Yako. She's a long way behind today, but the pace is robust. They went 22 and four for an opening quarter. Half mile and 46 and three as they head to the half mile grounds. Kiffel maintains the advantage of three parts of a length. On the outside, Picasso Moon in a flanking roll second. On the outside, Sassy Justice now takes third from Faith and Hope in fourth. Bright side of the road improves while fifth. Believe indeed, picking it up while three wide. Down at the inside goes Beach Dreaming. Last of the main group is Hottie Toddy. She's got about seven lengths to make up while trying to stoke the boilers. And the trailer a long way is Yako. Quarter of a mile left to go. Kiffel still the leader. Sassy Justice is three wide from between horses and Picasso Moon. Bright side of the road is next. Believe indeed. And Hottie Toddy and toward the rail. Faith and Hope. Many chances here as they swarm in on the this leader Kiffel. Kiffel is in front now taking a shot bright side of the road lifting up to challenge now down the center. Believe Indeed is shaking free late. Here's Believe Indeed taking on bright side of the road. Bright side of the road wins. Back to South Florida and home a winner under Marcos Manessis. It was bright side of the road to beat Believe Indeed in 142 and 2. Number three bright side of the road gets the job done in her South Florida return. Trained by Kelly Breen. For owner Mike Napoli, it was Marcos Manessis for his 21st riding victory of the season. Bright side of the road. Home a winner and a nice number. The veteran mayor, Believe Indeed, was up second. Sassy Justice third. Hottie Totty had to settle for fourth. We go to the tenth and final race now. Made in claimers at six furlongs over the main track. They're in for 12,500. A field of 10 signed on, but then we had a late scratch of number 10, War Axe. So nine went postward. The favorite was the five, Bolt Carrier. And runners away. Much better start today for Pink Lemonade, and he's going to take it to Bolt Carrier early. In fact, it's Pink Lemonade and Kimura who clear off. Bolt Carrier is going to have to learn a new trick. He's second while two off the leader. Film Fan is up into third. On from fourth and Severus. Dramatic Kitten is next toward the rail. Sweet Giant three wide. King Wade four wide. Gap of three to Luck of the Crook and the newcomer Mr. Starlight. Last of all with half a mile to journey. Pink Lemonade, sharp so far through a 23 and one opening quarter. It's really not that fast, so everything his way up front. He leads by four lengths. Bolt Carrier is there second. King Wade on the outside makes it into third. Dramatic Kitten is back to fourth. Sweet Giant scrubbed on. Trying to gain from the back is Luck of the Crook. Less than five sixteenths to go. Pink Lemonade threatens to blow this wide open. Pink Lemonade's a quarter of a mile from home and five on top. Bolt Carrier is second. King Wade trying to get out on Torres. He's third. Luck of the Crook about to claim a spot from the outside with three sixteenths to run. With the advantage, it's still Pink Lemonade. Pink Lemonade in the midst of a gate-to-wire success as Luck of the Crook is taking up the slack to get into second. But Pink Lemonade is well clear out here. Pink Lemonade and Kazushi Kimura to win it gate-to-wire. Luck of the Crook explodes. He got second and only lost by two. Bolt Carrier a lackluster third. King Wade was fourth and won 12 and two. Number five, Bolt Carrier beat to the punch today by the Ontario bred son of Signature Red. Number six, Pink Lemonade, who had a rough start of it early last time out. Nice smooth beginning here today, and jockey Kazushi Kamura sent him right to the top, and he went all the way. Trained by John Mateen for Howard Walton, Pink Lemonade gives jockey Kazushi Kamura his first Gulfstream Park riding victory. Number two, Luck of the Crook exploded late. He just missed by a length and a half at a nice number. A single winning ticket sold in the Rainbow Six today. The Rainbow Six goes down for more than $400,000.
And that'll do it. 10 up, 10 down as we move into a Beat the Expert Friday here at Gulfstream. The one and only Ron Nicoletti waiting for you over at GulfstreamPark.com with our free-to-play Beat the Expert contest. And speaking of Friday, carry over in the Stronic 5 of about 168,000 and a good-looking Todd Pletcher trained filly named Eve of War looks like the box office star in race number nine. We'll see you then with the Friday post of about one Eastern. all day hit the hay what do you say hit the hay hit the hay well i'm tired let me tell you jack i'm so tired oh my aching back let's hit the hay